but it's important that we remember that these five souls here that, that were lost to senseless violence. We remember, never forget, so we can try to ensure that it never happens again. When the tragedy happened in 2019, uh, John Jaros, our executive director, said that uh, we should always remember this on the anniversaries. He voted for the bipartisan background tax bill. So there'd be universal background tax on all gun sales. We closed the Charleston loophole a week ago, week after this shooting happened. And what happened? It sat in the Senate. And so we are looking forward to bringing forward these common sense gun violence prevention bills once again and having an opportunity to pass them not only through the House, but through the Senate and to get them signed into law. It is so important for saving lives and preventing tragedies so that no family has to experience the pain of losing a loved one at a school or a workplace or a grocery store, like so many families or a university even, like in our community we've seen. Um, and so I, I am a strong supporter for these types of bills, gun violence prevention bills, and. Um, I look forward to taking action. I miss them every day. And I'll love them for always. Even though it was two years ago, you still feel the love and strength that they all came together with to help everybody that was involved.